She knows. Oh all wait, I also just secrets. wanted to talk about how the mom calls her daughter Chandis. <laughs> calls the friend Chandis oh, because no one can remember her name. Yeah. You know, it's so confusing. Yeah. She okay. called her Meryl on the spot. Perfectly. Yes. True, which is good for that mom. Good She's for bad that at mom. names. Yes. Anyways, back to the song. <laughs> Musical Monday, Musical Monday. Count yourself as lucky as a four leaf clover. If you get invited to a sleepover, Musical Monday. Hello and welcome back to Musical Monday with Zach and Shay at Improv Broadway. I'm Zach. I'm Shay. And we're at. Improv Broadway. And joined with us is the person I want to sleep in my bed every single night, Caleb Wall on the Keys. He's like a comfy pillow. He's my gravity body. He's like a weighted blanket. He's my comforter. If this is your first time tuning into Musical Monday, this is the show where we review musicals that no one has ever heard about, but everyone should. And you know what? Just thinking about this musical makes me both excited and tired. I'm half asleep right now. With excitement. With excitement. Ah! <laughs> because we are talking about Sleep Over the oh, Musical. Sleep. sleep Over the Musical. Oh, oh. heavens. Was Just there- picture... Young girls wearing sleep and hair curlers, wearing zit patches, uh, straight jackets. One of them. Prank calling the pizza man, saying, "My friend has a crush on you." And in the background, you hear the girls saying, "No, I don't." I don't. Was there anything more exciting in your youth than going to a sleepover? My mom um, stopped letting me do them. Ugh, because what, of what did you do? predators. Oh, okay. <laughs> Fair, mom. <Confirmed. laughs> Fine. Yeah. Okay. Okay, I guess you were correct on that one. <laughs> Confirmed predators or just the danger of predators? No, just the fact that they exist. The but I have a memory because my parents were always clothed in front of me, always. I never saw my dad shirtless, ever. Ever. And just I'm, odd. I, <laughs> if you haven't seen your dad shirtless in childhood, like, is he even really your dad? And I slept over at my friend's house and hit her dad kissed her goodnight in his boxers, which, like, is probably normal. But to me, I was Shocking. like, oh, good Shocking. heavens. <laughs> For someone is who he didn't... allowed to do that? <laughs> Call the cops! <laughs> You're a real Karen as a nine-year-old. <laughs> naughty, naughty! <laughs> yeah. But let me tell you, when I was growing up, because when you're over, at least for my friend's house, like you were treated like royalty, new food, you could never get in trouble. The other kid could get in trouble. You could do whatever you want. You could stay up late. This was the <laughs> chance to play video games until 4 a.m. It was the most beautiful time of your life. It was the first ounce of freedom that you had as a kid from my, from my perspective. Oh, yeah. And I will say I went over to lots of people's house. There was one friend that I had that I feel so sad to say I did not like her. Ugh. But But I loved her Disney channel. You (laughs) used her for the Disney. (laughs) I sure did. Because I didn't have that at my house. We all had one of those friends. We all had one of those friends. And she would always try to get me to go on the trampoline. I'm Uh, like, I'm not here for that, sister. I'm here for (laughs) Hannah Montana and the sweet life of Zach and Cody. And that's it. Drake and Josh. (laughs) I dive. I'm out of (laughs) here. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. That is so It's a dash in Disney, (laughs) sweetheart. Uh, Shay, I bought you a bike so you could go play with me in the backyard. Shut up. Uh, uh, whatever that show with Zendaya's on. <laughs> Shake it up. Sh- Shake it up with Zendaya? Mm-hmm. Is that what it's called? Shake it up? Yeah. yeah. Oh, cool. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. Beyond my time. She might be in another, another one, but that's what I remember. Ugh, a two-hit Disney wonder. Yes, but this musical is... <laughs> well, all- <laughs> it's a just kind of a big deal now, career, Zach. Yeah. <laughs> well, specifically within the Disney Channel. Okay. Within that realm. Sure. Once you leave there, the Disney executives I mean, think you see Disney, <laughs> Disney owns Marvel now, so you could kind of say that she's kind of a big deal there, she's too. She's still a Disney yeah. girl. That's true. I stand corrected. Yeah. So up yours. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, shots fired. Okay. Well, in a nice way. In a nice way. I'm going to kiss you goodnight, Zach, in my boxer. Oh! Watch out. <laughs> the creepiest of things. To Up do. yours. All the way to the top, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Up yours. And a Merry Christmas to you. Merry Christmas. And to all a good night. <laughs> Up yours. Your bank account, I hope. 
so sleep over the musical. Yeah. Yes. It so- starts with a, a fun little sleepover, but lo and behold, the kid. Well, we've got two characters, Janice and Meryl. Candace and Meryl. Candace. <laughs> What do you say? Jan- Janice. 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 Also known by Candace. Candace. <laughs> and Meryl c- will get these mixed up so many times. Yes. Um, but they're just uh, going to sleep over it. But the mom of Meryl, who they are at her house, Meryl didn't do her chores. Mm-mm, naughty, naughty. And so the mom is talking in front of the kid, in front of their friend. You know what I mean? When they just like yell at, yeah, at the their kid. Yeah, the most awkward you can feel. And it's scary. Yeah. And it's really scary. And so that's the first song is the mom just like, she's not being too mean, but just she's not pulling any punches no. except for the physical ones. She doesn't do those. <laughs> <laughs> She physically pulls her punches. And you see her straining. But there you is, see her holding it back. And there is one spank, but it's two inches away. So she... Spanks the air? Spanks the air <laughs> behind Meryl's buttocks. She stops. She pulls her punches and her spanks. And her but spanks. She, wants to, she wants to deck this kid. You can just see it in her eyes. And it's, it's a... It's an exaggerated comedy. We don't condone any of these things. Not at all. No. Of course, we are. Don't shoot the messenger. Don't shoot no. the musical messenger. We think that's very bad. We don't think you should hit your kids. Spanking is abuse. But that's what this song is about. In this song, send your friend home. <laughs> <laughs> that means you sing it. Uh, listen, Meryl. Uh, you make me want to box. You make me want to punch. You make me want to throw you in the basement without a lick of lunch. I can't believe you didn't do your chores. You didn't do your laundry. So prepare for me to not do any punching. Send your friend home, send your friend home, send your friend home so you'll be alone. Send your friend home, <laughs> send your friend home, send your friend home so you'll be alone. I'm sorry, Chandis, it's okay, I think you are great. But this is my kid who disobeys and I kind of hate. Can I be honest with you, I wish I had you for my child instead. Instead of this big old dummy block head. I asked you to do the dishes, those were my only wishes. If you played basketball, you'd only have misses. You're the worst, worst, worst. These knuckles are unbruised, and so are you. You're gonna go to your room because you disobeyed me, Meryl. Send your friend home, send your friend home, send your friend home so you'll be alone. Send your friend home, send your friend home, send your friend home so you'll be alone. Send your friend home! <laughs> Oh my gosh. Wow. What a caricature of a woman. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's almost as if that character probably would have been more three dimensional if they were played by a woman, you know? That does make sense in <laughs> retrospect. <laughs> and I love how we hear in the recording the two actors are fighting over each other because in the original Broadway original cast, um, the uh, those two roles they they swapped nights they swapped nights that's right yeah and no one wanted to be the mom because it was such an unloving <laughs> uncharismatic just deplorable character it's like no you sing it tonight no you sing it tonight <laughs> <sighs> well that brings us to the next song oh, of immediately the there <laughs> <laughs> hard stop on the second song. <laughs> diving straight in uh, because another interesting trope about um, uh, sleepovers is the secrets that you tell. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Someone say rumors, but no, no they're the not. The distinct difference. Secrets are just confirmed rumors. That are true. And private. And private. Yes. <laughs> and so um, we hear this a little girl who calls herself the keeper of secrets. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot about that part. 
And she's always invited over to every sleepover because they know <laughs> she's going to dish, dish, dish. Got that good stuff. <laughs> she's got that good dish. She knows oh, all Oh, wait, I also just secrets. wanted to talk about how <laughs> mom calls her daughter Chandis. <laughs> calls the friend Chandis. Oh, Chandis. Because no one can remember her name. Yeah. You know, it's so confusing. Yeah. She okay. called her Meryl on the spot perfectly. Yes. True, which is good for that mom. Good she's bad at mom. names. Yes. Anyways. Back to the Bzz. song. <laughs> Reba. Back to the <laughs> yeah, song. Yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah. So she she's the secret keeper. She's going to the sleepovers. Everyone invites her just to hear. All the secrets of other sleep. What are they doing? What are they doing over at Mary's house? Yeah. What goes on behind closed door at Kevin's lounge? And she sleeps over with. Guys, girls, girls non binaries. She sleeps with everyone. She sleeps with them all. <laughs> and she's proud and of that. Sl- that's what she calls it. I sleeps with them. She sleeps with them, but she's just talking about sleepovers. She's talking about sleepover. I mean, they're yes. only 11, 12 tops. Yeah. Uh, in this beautiful <laughs> song, um, Don't Sleep on This Goss. Well, I think it's another word for goss when it got translated oh, oh, that's from the right. Swedish. That's right. Uh, original. It got. It's a translated musical. That's from Swedish. right. That's why it's so weird. Yeah, well, um, I think that's why I got confused about how the mom was always almost beating the kid. <laughs> yeah. the translation Culturally, was just like, the language was like, "Oh, I would never, ever, ever hurt my child." And ever. Then it, you know, yeah. You oh yeah. And it got so translated annoying. to English, and it was like, yeah. "Never, never." Yeah. Yes, right. in this anyway. song, don't sleep on these secrets. There we go. Here's the thing about sleepovers. You've been to one, you've been to them all. But one thing you should never sleep on are these little secrets. Love, Gossip Girl, XOXO. Dave down the street is addicted to Disney Channel. He can't take his eyes off it. He's a really weird mammal of a man. <laughs> and Billy Joel is experimenting <laughs> with his dad's cough <laughs> syrup. <laughs> <laughs> Break into the cabinet when he has a bad cough, isn't it? Sad that he has to do that. <laughs> Don't sleep on these secrets. 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 I don't. Pillowcase every night when she thinks that we've gone sleepy. Drake and Josh, they have the same names as the TV sitcom. They don't like Lunchables. <laughs> they don't like Lunchables. <laughs> How could I sleep on this cigarette and all that I like a lunchable? Don't sleep on these don't secrets. Sleep, don't sleep on these secrets. Don't sleep on these secrets. I don't sleep on these secrets. I don't sleep on these secrets. 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 But wait. What about you? 
What about me? What about the things you never tell? I'm too sneaky. I'm sure you got a secret. I'm sure you got a secret on you. One I can smell. I'm the real reason my parents got a divorce. <gasps> Of course. of course, I had secrets with mommy and daddy. I told mommy, daddy called her a fatty. <laughs> Your mama's classically skinny. <laughs> Why did your dad believe that? I wanted two Christmas Eves. I wanted presents and a stepdad that wouldn't leave. Two Christmas, two Christmas conspiracy. <laughs> two Christmas, two Christmas conspiracy. <laughs> to unpack that song, but we gotta go immediately to the third one. Bing, bang, boom. Screeching halt to the third Ooh, song. Oh, I just got a mark from my seatbelt because that is a hard stop on I, that stop sign. I got a whiplash straight on that third song. I had to hold on to that thing in the passenger seat because... The handle? The oh. handle. I'm stressed. What a roller coaster. Man, that poor kid with a cough has to break up into the... Into his cabinet to get cough medicine. That's how protective his parents are. <laughs> and let me tell you, as a divorced, as a divorcee, two Christmases is great. I often wonder if my kids conspired that against me. <laughs> Ooh, boy. Oh, uh, my God. But of course, our final song talks about probably the most quintessential thing that could ever happen at a sleepover. Of course, pillow fight. Big ol' pillow fight. If you've seen The Princess Diaries, is one of the best parts of the movie. I could have sworn you were going to say you are going to talk about the song where one kid gets scared and has to come get picked up by their parents, but oh, we, we won't sing that song. That song's that good, though. That song is good, though. <gasps> Please, t- I don't want to be here anymore. Ah, let's listen to that one. Okay, and then we'll do a quick... A quick, quick out the out the outro yeah. will be that will be the yeah. will be the pillow fight song. Cause I was one of those kids. I've told this story to Zach before, but one time I read in a book what a prostitute was, and I told these girls at a sleepover, and then they told their mom, and then um, their moms just laughed. But I was so embarrassed. I was like, I gotta get gotta out of here. Home. <laughs> Uh, and then, um, what's this called? Um, I Don't Want to Be Here Anymore. I can't remember. Was that the title of the song? Yeah, I Don't Want to Be Here Anymore. All right, let's give it a listen. <laughs> Sweetie, what's up? <laughs> Mom, I don't feel comfortable. What? Is something going on with the Hendersons? Did someone leave over in the, cu- the cough, the cough syrup cabinet? Is it open? <laughs> yeah, uh, it looks like the lock got broken into, but... By adult hands or child hands? Um, it had jelly stains on the inside, so I think it was a kid. <sighs> Little Billy Joel trying to get his <laughs> cough medicine. But that's not the reason I'm scared. What is it, sweetie? I'm homesick, not cough sick. I just miss my blanket. It's a teddy bear on my bed I miss the drink of water that you always spill on my head When you come to me and tuck me in at night Mommy, I miss you sitting by my side and saying Don't have nightmares or anxiety about the first day of school or serial killers on a spree I don't want to be here anymore I don't want to be here anymore Their house smells weird not like our normal detergent Mama, are you in the car? You gotta get home because it's urgent They have a weird 
dog with crusty eyes I don't think I can sleep here tonight I don't know if they wash their navy blue sheets Mama, I'm in need I know it's probably important To have her tough it up but she's my sweet daughter For whom I have so much love And though to myself it might be Just a little risky But tonight's the dad night Her dad with me <laughs> wants to get frisky So it might be nice to take her home So I won't be here alone With her dad who kind of smells I don't want to be here anymore I don't want to be here with your dad I don't want to be here anymore Mom, I know what's going on inside your bedroom door And wouldn't it be a nice excuse Instead of a headache to come And wouldn't be nice instead of a weird night with your dad You'd be sleeping with me here in my bed Yeah, I don't want to be here without you I don't want to be Getting here Getting in the anymore. car, opening the car Putting the ignition keys in the car Getting in the car, out, getting in the, the car Bonnie's looking at me, where are you going? What was that bump I felt in the passenger seat? I think it was your dad on the street <laughs> Trying to stop me from driving away Are we gonna do and hit and run? Like the crime podcast we listen, crime podcast we listen to for fun Are we gonna do a hit and run? Like the crime we listen to for fun <laughs> I don't wanna be here Anymore. I don't wanna be here I, I don't just wanna, wanna be, be here anymore. near my daughter Be near my daughter I don't wanna, wanna be, be here anymore Just wanna be my daughter Sorry, I got a call. I think I'm gonna take her home. I was already in the car. <laughs> <laughs> You're amazing, you ran so far. I ran to your house, then got inside the car before you picked me up. I guess that's what it means when you have that daughterly kind of love. Guess we didn't have to run over your dad But I was there, I saw everything <laughs> And I'm sorry with my car, I did not miss But I'm gonna turn you into the police <laughs> Dang it! <laughs> I'd rather be there at the station with you Than be anywhere else without you I don't want to be anywhere else anymore I don't want to be anywhere else anymore Wait till they make a true crime podcast episode about this <laughs> 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 oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, and the pillow fight. Um, pillow, pillow fight. Pillow, pillow fight. Pillow fight. Get this right. Pillow fight. Pillow fight. Pillow fight. Pillow fight. A pillow fight all night. Pillow fight all night. Gotta do it right. It's a pillow fight. Ow my eye. I got hurt. Now I'm crying. Pillow fight, 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 p
second. Is that <laughs> Stacy's mom running over here, Dad? Oh no! Why is the ambulance coming? I'm Ooh, calling the cops. I'm taking notes for my true crime podcast. <laughs> we gotta get this on our next episode of Twelve Year Old Girls Solving Crimes. If you don't want to do the times, then we can't have us comment on the crimes. That's our tagline. And our tagline for this show is we love you. And we hope you come back. And we hope if your kid has a cough, just give them the medicine they need. That's uh, this uh, episode was sponsored by NyQuil. Use yes. responsibly. Yes. But don't overuse it because don't. it's scary. It's scary. Yes. I mean, keep it behind locked doors if you need. But don't <laughs> put your kid in a position where they have to claw it open with jelly-filled hands yeah. to get the medicine that they need. Uh, but the best medicine of all, of course, is... Music! <laughs> 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 <laughs>